Hey everybody, it's Carrie from The Bomb School. Um, I am back again this week to do a artist in your residence for all the Strata residents. Um, I am glad you are here and I'm super excited about our project today. So um, we are going to be doing a little bit of pointillism. So pointillism is really awesome. It looks a little daunting, like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to be able to do that. But Honestly, it's really easy. It doesn't take a lot of skill. Um, it's just made up of tiny dots in various colors to make the picture. Um, you can kind of look up some things by uh, Seurat and get an idea of some of his pieces of artwork that he did. Um, he actually is the one who created um, this pointillism technique. Um, so you can definitely check him out. Hi everybody, thanks for joining. Um, you can check him out. So um, you will need a couple items to get started on this project. I just have a basic paper. Um, this is a mixed media paper, so it's a little little heavier but we're just going to be using markers today so that is absolutely fine you will need a pencil and an eraser and a variety of color markers so for this project I did use a darker brown a lighter brown and a yellow for the center of my flower um, and then I had three shades of pinks and purples for the actual petals of the flower um, for the background, I used two shades of blue, a light and a dark. And then for the petals, uh, or yeah, for the um, leaves rather, I did three shades of green. Um, so you can kind of use what you have. Um, you don't necessarily have to all have all of those colors. Um, I do want to give you kind of a brief idea. I made this very basic color wheel, and the three colors that I used were just the red, the yellow, and the blue. So I just used those three primary colors. And as you can see, as I combined them, um, we made the orange and the green and the purple. So it's a really awesome technique because as you get closer there, I don't know how, how in focus that is, but as you get closer, you can kind of see how awesome that is that, um, you know, it creates that color. It kind of tricks your eye into thinking that that's green, but it's really just the yellow and blue. So it's a really awesome technique that you can use. Um, another part of pointillism is the value. So you want to keep in mind that uh, the, the less dots you make, the lighter it will be. And as you add more dots, it will get darker and darker. So take that into consideration when you are um, using this technique in your art and when you're using it in your flowers and the petals um, that you can use that value with just a little bit of, um, you know, adding more dots to it. It'll make it look a lot, a lot darker. All right, so let's get started. Um, I have my paper ready and I've already sketched out my basic flower. So you can draw your flower however you so choose. So I just did a basic kind of like a Cosmo flower, um, nothing too intricate. It's really, really kind of simple. Um, if, if this is too much for you, I had showed it to my husband earlier and he goes, whoa, I'd never be able to draw that. Um, so you can just go with a, a really kind of simple flower. If that works better for you, just go with kind of a circle, um, uh, rather a flower in the center of your circle there, or even just your simple kind of rounded petal flower. So you do whatever works for you, whatever your skill level is um, for this project. It's basically, this is a good starting um, project to kind of learn about the pointillism and how, how you can use it. I actually really enjoyed it. It took me quite a while to finish that piece, um, but it was really relaxing. And I just really just, I just listened to some music and I just, went with it and it was it was really fun I really liked it I actually am probably going to do more of the pointillism um you know this weekend while I'm kind of hanging out at home I think that it's something that'll fill the time and keep me busy and um it'll be pretty enjoyable and get me thinking about spring and do the flowers and um okay so I am going to use this one as the example okay but you use whatever flower you drew that's fine. Um, so to start your technique of your pointillism, um, you will need uh, your brown marker. Uh, that's what I did. I'm going to start with the center of the flowers. Um, so that would be kind of this part right here 
we're gonna start with that. And as you can see, that's kind of browns, uh, light brown, a dark brown, and I did use a yellow in there. So in order to do this technique, you just want to start around the edges of your circle. So on my drawing here, you're going to start kind of around the edges of that center circle. So I just very simply go around the entire thing with dots um, to start. I just start it like that. So I do, I do take my value into consideration for this part. Um, and I do a little bit more along the bottom than I do along the top. So I just continue with my dots and you can take your time with this. I'm going kind of fast just to stay within the time slot, um, but you can definitely take your time, take it nice and slow um, and just kind of enjoy it. Just go with it, relax. So you can see there, I did um, have a little bit of value at the bottom there where it's darker, and then I did less dots at the top so that it got a little bit lighter as you go. So you will wanna do that. I did speed ahead and, and went on to the next step so that you know, you're not watching me do a billion dots. Um, so I did go ahead and I did complete the brown part of those dots, okay? So that was just the darkest brown. I did then go over with the same exact technique and I did with the lighter brown and then I filled in towards the top with my yellow, okay? So you're just kind of filling that in. There's no wrong way to do it. Let me tell you, you just get those dots in there and no matter what what you do, it's gonna look beautiful. The color's gonna look awesome. Um, so you do wanna color in your leaves as well before you move on to the, your petals. I used um, a couple different greens. I had a, a really dark green and then a medium tone green and a little bit of a lighter one that I just used for a, a tiny bit of it. But I started with my dark green and I just went along the bottoms of the leaves and one edge of the petal. So I did kind of like the, the edge where you would like the shadow would be. So same thing, I just dotted my way around the entire thing to begin. And then I moved on with kind of like adding that little bit of shading. So super simple. Just do that um, with the dark green until you feel like you like the look of it. And then you can come in with your lighter shade of green and add the dots. And you'll start to see that it really kind of takes that um, you know, it takes on a really nice full look and you can kind of get the idea of, oh, look, it's like a little bit darker on the bottom because of the shadow. So for the sake of time, I went ahead and I completed my leaves so that you can see what they look like. Like I said, you take your time, enjoy it and just relax with it. Um, but I did go ahead so that you can get an idea of what the leaves should then look like completed. So you can see the dark, you can see the light, and then the lightest one, I kind of just used a, a bit up in the top in these kind of empty spaces just to give it a little bit of a lighter look. Moving right along. <laughs> um, so the next thing is your petals. So I um, used a dark red for my petals um, all, all along the outside. So same thing, um, you're gonna go around the edges of your petals, just like you did with the edges of everything. So I'm gonna, you just start dotting. And TV magic, I have that complete already. So you can see I just did the red dots all along the outside of my flower. It's really starting to look awesome. Even at this point, it looks pretty cool. So um, it's looking really nice. I hope um, you guys enjoy the the kind of like the just the simpleness of it, just dots and it's, it's really quite nice. Um, so I did add a little bit then around the center of my flowers. I added some more dots to give it that, that value there and the shading in the center. So I just very simply started out from the center of my flower and just dotted and then I did less dots as I got to the end. So you can do that um, with, the, with the red I just did. And then I came in with a purple and did the exact same thing. I just added a little bit of the purple shade and 
uh, embellished that a little bit and added some around the edge of the flower petals. Like I said, there's no wrong way. Just add your color in there however you feel. So I did go ahead and you can see how it looks with that purple added in there as well. Okay, so I did finish it off with a light pink color. And I just basically um, completed, like I filled in all the empty spaces with, with the pink marker to give it the completed look that I got. Um, so you can then go ahead and fill it in. And for the background, very simple. I used my blue marker, my darker shade, and I did dots all around the entire edge. But as you can see, I, I made a lot more of them at the bottom so that it was much darker at the bottom and I faded them to very few at the top. You can do it however you like. Um, I've seen some of them where it's kind of like dark all around the edge, but then even like back behind the petals, um, it's a little bit lighter. Whatever whatever floats your boat, whatever you feel like you wanna do to kind of give it that look, um, just use your dark blue and then add your light blue dots in there. You can see towards the top here, um, they're a little more spaced out. I just wanted that to be kind of like a little bit of a light shining in there. Um, so. That's basically it. Um, it's really quite simple. Anybody can do it, any age range. Um, you can do this with your kids. You can do this if you're older. Um, you really don't need that much, like I said. Um, you can have just a few color markers and work with that. Even if you just have your red, yellow, and blue, you can you can kind of make all the colors there. So it would be really awesome. Um, so I hope you have a lot of fun with it. I hope you enjoy um, doing some pointillism this weekend and just relaxing and um, you know spending some time at home, just enjoying um, this downtime that we have. Um, I'm sure you can watch this video again if you need to reference it. Um, and please definitely share share your projects. I'd love to see them. Um, let's see. Do you have, do you leave white spots at all? Um, I did actually leave some white spots. So if you look at it really close, I'll try to get it as close as I can. Can you see it? I did leave some white spots. So it kind of looks like little bits of highlights, but you don't have to, if you want to, if you want to fill it all in, you can absolutely fill it all in. Um, I just kind of like the way that it looks with the highlight and you can use a reference photo. So I just drew this. I didn't, look at any pictures but if you wanted to maybe look up some different flowers on the internet or maybe you have a photo of a flower that you love that you've taken or any type of photo um, that you would like to recreate i think the flowers are kind of simple um just because they don't have to be perfect in any way so it's a great a great way to start so you can kind of just like pick your favorite flower and and go with it but it's really cool so i intend to cut this out and I'm gonna probably put it on um, like a black a black piece of paper in the background and then put it in like a nice square frame because I really do like it. I think it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, so you guys, you know what? Have a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Uh, I will be back again next week uh, live at five to take over the Strata and just have some fun and get creative. All right, you guys, have a great weekend. We'll see you later.